Darren Bent, speaking on TalkSport, said, Alison Becker has been one of the best players in recent seasons, and TalkSport pundit Darren Bent believed that the Reds would sell him if we got 70 or 80 million pound. Uh, he went on to say, he was bought for 67 million pound. I'm going to go with, he's 31 years old, but goalkeepers can go on. I'm going to say Liverpool sell him or he goes for 70 to 80 million pound. I want to know your thoughts on that. Do you think that Darren Bent is on the right track or do you think that there isn't a number and it's just foolishness? Again, the floor is yours. Let us know. Uh, Pranav said Ali is going nowhere no way sell Alisson nope said Barbara Khan uh, look I agree I and I agree with what Darren Ben said as well with regards to goalkeepers being able to go on and on Alisson Becker being 31 is basically 25 for an outfield player so I certainly wouldn't be looking to cash in on Alisson Becker I think he's the best goalkeeper in the world and I understand that where you have a difficult decision to make over the future of Cuevie and Kelleher and of course Cuevie will be a massive part of that decision himself but I, I wouldn't be looking to cash in on Alisson Becker um, but it did get me thinking though if we did look to cash in what would the number be? Do you think that the number put it out there, 70, 80 million pound is his value in today's market? It's a difficult one. I mean, you look at what other clubs have paid for keepers and you'd have to say if there is a, a record for a goalkeeper to be broken again, maybe Alisson is, uh, is the person who breaks that record once again. I mean, I know we brought him in and then Kepa was brought to Chelsea and Alisson wasn't the most expensive keeper for long. But if we were to sell him right now, if he went in this market, what would he go for? Uh, Bent was never the sharpest pencil in the box, said Barbara Khan. Look, as a rule, I try to avoid talk sport, but sometimes a talking point pops up and there has been some conversations over the past couple of weeks about Cuevie and Kelleher, how well he's playing and what the future looks like. And I guess it kind of all ties itself together, really. Uh, Mayo Nice said 150 million. Niller Diller said 100 million pound, 150 for average beast, 100 for Naman. Uh, any more figures in there? CD Sava said 85 million, 100 million for Red Fox, oh, above 150 for Dave Smith. Um, Ali ain't for sale. Kelleher will stay. I'd love that to happen, Tanya. I mean, that's that's a dream scenario for me. Both of them. You know, Allison's contracted to Liverpool until 2027, so the club are in no huge rush or need to renegotiate with Allison at the moment. But the Kelleher situation, look, if we end up in the summer with Kelleher staying at the club and we start the season with both of them, you know, I'm not going to be at all displeased. I absolutely love the goalkeeping department that we have. It's a new point that Dave, he ain't going. I, I don't think so, Dave. I don't think he is either, but... It is a point, like some people have said, as an example, that Alisson doesn't walk back in and take the number one shirt off Kelleher at the minute. Now, again, I respectfully disagree with that viewpoint. I think he does. But, you know, I'm I'm conflicted. Because in one sense, I obviously love the idea that people are getting behind Cuevie and Kelleher and seeing how good he is. But I do think we're reactionary a lot of the time. And you might say this video is reactionary, which, again, touche. But uh, I think... I'm caught in the middle because I love the praise for uh, for Kelleher, but would I say he could dislodge Allison? No, I wouldn't. I'm trying to be realistic about that. Uh, happy days to keep both uh, Tanya. Absolutely, my friend. That would be ideal, but I, I don't know. I don't know if Cuevina, 25 years of age, haven't had a taste now of, you know, big games under uh, Jurgen Klopp, you know, two League Cup finals he's been in goal for. He's been part of the Europa League campaign, uh, obviously having a really good run in the league now since Alisson's injured. Maybe he feels, I want more of this. I want to be a first-team goalkeeper and um, my days of being a number two are over. And I could understand that entirely because he's probably getting to the point where he's too good to be a number two. Uh, it's just noise they're trying to create at ICU. It, look, I don't think they're trying to destabilise anybody. Like, of all the stuff TalkSport have said and done over the years, this, to me, is just a conversation point more than anybody trying to undermine anyone. It is, it is going to be a tricky summer in that regard, and I think we're also going to have some very difficult conversations around the contract renewals as well. With Michael Edwards coming in and Richard Hughes, you know, we're going to have some... Um, we're going to have some tricky conversations around who gets contract renewals, who doesn't, and who gets moved on.